looking for vehicles to flip. There's a lot of different places you can look for vehicles. So I'm in Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, you can't uh, get into a dealer's auction without a dealer's license, and it's pretty hard to get a dealer's license. So most auctions, the average person can't get into. This Wisconsin Surplus is a private auction company, but they sell a lot of vehicles for the state and different municipalities. Looking through these, some of them are rough. Uh, some of the stuff goes higher than you'd think, but it's going higher because there's nowhere else for people to buy because the uh, dealer auctions are so restricted. Yeah, we can go to Minnesota, I believe, and buy, but that's a little bit of a haul to, uh, to pick up vehicles. And some of these are parted out. Some of them have different, different problems with them. The ones that I am most interested in is just stuff that somebody could make money on. One of the interesting ones is fire trucks. So your average fire truck is gonna have really low miles, low hours. So this is one that, they're, that they sold. Uh, it sold for under $6,000. Uh, 16,000 miles so with a lot of this stuff in municipalities the trick is finding a use for it that's profitable I've seen a bunch of ambulances used for plumbers I've seen well fire trucks mostly I've seen where they'll sell them out west I guess I'm not sure to who but for significantly more money Sometimes pumps need to be refurbished and there's different things. So it's, it's, a, it's a whole game by itself doing the fire trucks. The ambulance, sometimes those have higher miles because they're actually driven longer distances. But these are really heavy duty. And this is an inter international diesel chassis with this ambulance body on it. These ambulance bodies can be changed into something for you know hauling tools or parts different options there that one's got a few miles on it here's another ambulance 15,000 it's got the Ford the E450 front on it 95,000 miles so it's got the six liter diesel in it so I mean these these could really be used and they are I mean they should be used for something as a vehicle gets older they don't want to use it for say an ambulance Maybe reliability becomes an issue. Sometimes with uh, fire trucks, uh, mostly my what I've heard of, and I guess I, I'm not really in a position to hear, is um, some of the pumps and stuff needed refurbishing. But they're able to get the money to replace, so they replace. But there's definitely fire departments out there that need a vehicle. And if you could do some of the refurbishing, or find another purpose for it. I'm not sure what you'd use it for besides running through parades or I don't know. Um, but there's there's a lot of options. Um, here's one that is a uh, sewer jetter truck, but it's only got nine thousand miles on it. So it was used in a you know in a city and just driven around to the different spots. You know somebody could do some. Uh, drain cleaning or something with this truck. I mean, 5,200 in the chassis should be worth that. I guess I don't know what's uh, still on there for equipment. And maybe it's, oh, it looks like the hoses and stuff are still in there. So sometimes they'll pull some of the pieces off. It looks like this is meant for a, uh, you know, cleaning out a uh, city sewer. And I mean, could this be fixed up and sold to a, uh, you know, to a small city that can't afford a new truck? I mean, very possibly. There, there's definitely options. But at the price point, 9,000 9, miles for 5,200. There's definitely money left on the table there. And with the fire trucks, it's probably even more. I looked up a few of them, and I couldn't find uh, exact examples, but I've seen asking price around 50 grand for some older fire trucks. You know, possibly there's pieces or things that have to be done my understanding is the pumps have to be tested and there's a few different things like that I've seen the local town I mean they drain the water they do different things with their fire trucks 
So a fire truck's not exactly cheap to maintain, and there's definitely something there, so you'd want to know what you're doing. But uh, there's some real money there. I mean, flipping a car for, you know, a couple of grand when you could, you know, maybe get 20 or something grand extra out of flipping a fire truck if you could had the expertise to do it and could do the research and find the buyer that needed it, you'd be helping out somebody that can't afford a new truck or helping out a area that can't afford a new truck. But there's definitely options out there. Some of these less expensive cars, yeah, you could buy them and do some work, maybe drive it for a while and sell it without losing any money. Because that's another option is just to buy something like this. It's an old squad car, drive it for a couple of years and sell it basically for what you paid. So that's what some people do. That's mostly what I've done. I haven't really bought them to flip from there. I've bought them to drive and then I do, then I sell them. Uh, some of the dump trucks or plow trucks had some issues. Sometimes there's bad transmissions in these. I mean, there's all kinds of different situations. Uh, I did buy an old Crown Vic once that was, it's only like two years old and had about 100,000 miles on it. But it was, it was so nice, easy to drive. I really enjoyed it, but I didn't keep it very long and ended up selling that one. Uh, one of the issues that I have with the cars is I used to buy them with, say, just over 100,000 miles. And now they keep them close to 200,000 miles. So I'm a little concerned about buying a vehicle with that many miles on it. But I mean, like, look at this one. The final price was just over $1,000, and it's a 2013 177,000 miles. I mean, some issues, you'd have to look at it to see what it is. You do have the ability to look at these cars before you bid on any auction. There's lots of other auction sites out there. Just this one is close to me, so something I've looked at. But don't be afraid to think outside the box as far as what you could fix and resell or repurpose. Maybe repurposing is the... Uh, Better idea. Oh, that's a lot of miles. 274,000, but it's a semi. I mean, you could get a lot. Yeah, Detroit Diesel. That's interesting, though. I mean, that's a really big one. Honda Max. But I mean, what could you use this thing for? Yeah, the pictures won't move. There's got to be something. All I can think of was the camper right off the top. I wonder what that back is. Looks like the back is like a ambulance. Maybe expensive to make into a camper, but. Oh, it looks like some kind of hazmat. So I had to have a lot of areas for storage, but maybe like somebody that runs, I don't know, festivals, carnivals or something like a medical vehicle or something. There, I, there's options. So if you can come up with a purpose, a use and repurpose some of this stuff, I think you could make a lot of money and uh, and you know make it useful. It's like recycling. The stuff's got to be used again. You can't just scrap everything and buy new all the time. Well, I mean, they are scrapping and buying new, but you know it shouldn't be crushed. It should be used for a purpose if there's a purpose available. So the uh, bucket trucks I always thought would be nice for working around the house, but... Oh, there you go. I mean bucket truck for $5,200. I mean, look at some of those uh, man lifts that you get. Oh, it opened, but where did it open? You get like a, uh, you know, any kind of hoist, and I mean, a lot of them are higher than that as far as price, depending on what's wrong with this one. So some issues, but but a bucket truck could be very useful. I mean, maybe there's a business you could do with that. If you're a tree trimmer or something, you know, you could pull trailers with that, trim trees. And I mean, very, very reasonable for that if you can get it going. And I mean, this is heavy duty equipment. It's, you know, bought, bought, bought with taxpayer money. So keep your, keep your eyes open, keep your options open. Think outside the box and maybe you can find a 
way to make even more money on your projects. Most of this is people with uh, you know, side hustle that are doing stuff like this. Um, yeah, keeping their options open, looking for ideas. Taking trailers and fixing them up and reselling is pretty common too. But there's a, there's a lot of options out there to start looking at auctions. Lots of things you can flip. All right, thanks guys.